This piece comes from a series called The Purian Eloquence and Glamour. Let's break it down. It's an expression through the forcefulness of a silver tongue, how excessive the interest in sex is portrayed in glamour art. I started the series in St. Lucia. I really formulated the series there. One of the reasons why I chose St. Lucia is that it's one of the most beautiful places on earth, definitely the most beautiful island in the Caribbean. With some of the most beautiful people there that I've seen, walking the globe. So I went on to do several other pieces um, when I got back home, um, shot uh, several models. Being an artist that has uh, done a lot of traveling, you know, I've been traveling since I was a kid, um, 14 years old by myself uh, in Nairobi, Kenya. Uh, nine years old by myself, um, visiting family in the Caribbean, um, you know, been to Europe, um, Mexico, all over. You build relationships. These are people you want to fight for. These are people that are counting on you, people that believe in you, believe in you to spread their story, to, to tell people about the systems of oppression that are active across the globe to offer a counter narrative to the propaganda that's aimed at ma marginalized communities in third world countries, destructive narratives, you know, narratives that kill. It's not just about the art to me. These are my friends. People I've known for years, blood family, I watched grow, come up from the youth and be a man, or some homegirls I rocked tough with for a long time, all the way on the other side of the globe. Nothing in this life is a guarantee, and I live mine to the fullest and represent my people globally. I'm Justice for Tyranny. I'm known and heavily respected all over this planet. St. Copeland Arts? Yeah, that's our show, representing all of us Africans all across this globe. 